Time to try 16 different M&Ms. Uh, yeah, that's a lot of M&Ms. Uh, I'm not the biggest fan of regular M&Ms. I think they're kind of boring, but I do like peanut M&Ms and I like other like more texture, crunchier kind of M&Ms, so we'll see. Uh, first off, let's just try the regular M&Ms. Why do M&Ms always pose like they want you to fuck them? That's always been weird to me. So you got your classic, Regular M&M's. Yeah, they're perfectly fine. They're just chocolate with candy coating. You know, sweet, crunchy candy coating. Um, gotta say, these are just like, you know, C tier. Just your average M&M's are fine. No real enthusiasm from me, but not bad. Now forget the virgin regular M&M's. Here are the Chad peanut M&M's. Look at that thick ass boy. See, peanut M&M's are awesome. First off, the size of them, Look at that. This guy is not fucking around. He's like, yo, I'm a big ass bitch and you're gonna have some fun. I like peanuts. I like, um, you know, the combination. Uh, these are a very solid A tier. Very, very satisfying. Hefty boys. Now let's try dark chocolate. 50% uh, more cacao, cacao, cocoa, cacao, 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 in the chocolate. Cacao, cacao, cupo. They look the same. Why am I, why, why, why am I even showing? They all look the same. Um, yeah, these are better. I don't know if you had, if you had not told me these were dark chocolate, I don't know if I would have noticed immediately, but they do have a nice, you know, a little bit of that bitter, you know, uh, dark chocolate flavor. So they taste more interesting, so better. Like a, like a B, B minus. Now let's try the dark chocolate peanut M&Ms. This is 49%, not 50, 49%. I couldn't go with the extra 1% on that. Here's a thicky boy. You would think I'd like these more because I kind of like dark chocolate better, but I actually feel like it's a little distracting. You know, if I'm eating a peanut M&M, I want to taste the peanut. I don't need like competing bitterness of the dark chocolate with it. I actually think the regular ones are better than the uh, dark chocolate ones. I think the dark chocolate ones are fine. They're, you know, they don't ruin it but it's unnecessary to me. Now, if you thought peanut M&M's were not sticky boy enough, mega peanut M&M's? More chocolate, bigger peanuts. That is pretty big, let's compare. Uh, yeah, I guess, barely. Uh, yeah, again, if you had not told me these were mega, I probably wouldn't have noticed. With that said, I think regular peanut M&M's are still better. I think that's the perfect ratio of peanut, chocolate, candy. This is a little too more chocolate. Let the peanut shine. The peanuts are not that much bigger in these. So, eh, you can't go wrong. They're almost the same, but just go with the regular peanut M&Ms. You don't need to pay extra. Next up, we got M&Ms Minis. I remember these. I didn't know they still made these. Back in the 90s or whatever, where everything was like, hey, make it smaller, whoa. First off, I do like that they come in a stupid tube. I do like these better than regular M&Ms. There's something about the texture that I enjoy more with the little ones. The little ones are almost like little bursts of chocolate. You know, little crispy bursts of chocolate instead of just like, kind of like a one note crunch and dense of the regular M&Ms. Maybe that's because there's more candy coating too, because it's more of them. I don't know, they're just fun. They actually do taste a little, I mean they taste the same, but texturally, I like these better. That's all the boring stuff out of the way. Now let's get into ones that actually are pretty different. Like, uh, the peanut butter M&Ms. Now, Reese's Pieces are the shit. Are these as good as Reese's Pieces? Oh, these are fucking big. What the fuck? These are solid, like an A. Um, but not as good as Reese's Pieces. Reese's Pieces is better peanut butter. But, I kind of like how big these are. It's like a big old gush of peanut butter. Yeah, I actually don't mind that these are bigger, because it's all peanut butter. They got that nice creamy, smooth texture too. These are definitely up there. All right, now we got the pretzel M&Ms and this guy looks terrified. Why are these so fucking big? Oh my God. These aren't bad. A combination I do enjoy is like peanuts with, or not peanuts, pretzels with chocolate or pretzels with M&Ms. This is kind of that, but I think a big appeal of the pretzel chocolate combination is the salt crystals on the pretzels. These don't have that. So it's just like pretzel, vague pretzel generic crunch in the middle. There is a little saltiness, but it's still kind of enveloped in the candy chocolate, so you can't really notice it as much. Like 
Pretzels, the appeal of pretzels to me, or the crispiness and the saltiness, this only has like kind of crispiness, not that much saltiness. It's kind of defeating the purpose of what a pretzel chocolate combination is. With that said, anything's better than regular M&Ms, but I feel like these could be so much better than what they are. One thing I will say, these bags have resealable zippers. They're fucking terrible. Zero out of 10 for the zippers. All right, next up we got Almond with this smug blue motherfucker on the cover. Uh, Almond M&Ms. Okay. They're even shaped like an almond. I feel like these are for sophisticates who are like, oh, peanut M&Ms. I only eat almond M&Ms. And I gotta say, they taste pretty similar. Yes, you can tell it is an almond versus a peanut because almonds and peanuts taste different. But when you coat these nuts in chocolate and candy, it's not gonna make that much of a difference. Slightly thinner texture for the nut. They're both good. I just don't have a strong preference for, ooh, I gotta get the almond ones over the peanut ones. If you're just a big almond head, um, I guess these are the ones you'd want. All right, let's try the caramel ones. I hope I hope the M&M, when I stretch it, stretches that far, or else that's false advertising. Okay. So I love caramel. I think it's great. But putting it in an M&M, the candy shell, it has like a weird taste when it combines with it. It's like too sweet. It's like you're combining caramel, which is already sweet, put a chocolate around that, then a candy coating, and it's like th all three different types of very cloying sweetness together. Like it's, it's a lot. I don't know. I think, I feel like these sound way better than they actually are. It's just a lot of sweetness all at once. And the candy coating does not help. All right, here we got white chocolate peanut. I'm sure these will be not sweet at all. So I think the biggest problem with M&Ms and why I've never been like a huge fan of them is you're not eating them for the chocolate. The chocolate is not that good. It's fine. The candy coating is a fun novelty to start with, but as you eat more and more, it's just like very one note, just sh sugary candy. So for these, van uh, not vanilla, but white chocolate peanut M&Ms, you can barely taste the white chocolate. I mean, you can taste it, but it's all just that candy shit gets in the way. Like, I love peanuts, I love white chocolate. This seems like a no-brainer, but combined with that damn candy shit, it's fine. Nothing wrong with it, but it doesn't help. It doesn't benefit. Now, I remember liking these, crispy M&Ms. I did not know they still made these. Okay. These are like regular M&Ms that I like. Like that, like that crispy rice crunchiness is good. This is like pretzel ones want to be this, but more, and they don't really accomplish that. I think just a nice, simple, crispy, you know, crunch in the middle with chocolate and candy is a good combo. Um, and if you try to go beyond that, it gets a little crazy. But these are nice, solid M&Ms. All right, now let's try the dark chocolate mint ones. I do like that these are all green. I think that's a very, very classy look. There you go. So these work really well because the chocolate and regular M&Ms taste like ass. Not ass, but just blah. So adding a nice mint flavor gives this like the same appeal as like a junior mint, right? It's got the nice mint flavor. The crunch goes well with it. The nice dark chocolate. Yeah, these are very good. I really like these. Way more than most other M&Ms. So on that note, Crunchy Mint, which I guess was a winning flavor. I don't know if there was a contest or something. Again, I appreciate the uh, color detail here. Mmm. These are great. These are even better than the other ones. These have a, like a crispy rice center with the chocolate. That's great. It's like a cocoa rice thing. Awesome texture. Uh, even better than the crispy M&Ms. Uh, these are dope. Nice mint flavor, crisp texture. I can see why these won. They're very, very appealing. All right, two more. We've got coffee nut. Look at these big old poop eggs. All right. Okay, yeah. These are pretty good. They got that nice toasty coffee flavor. Nice crunchy texture. The nut helps as well. The combination is almost like a nice hot cocoa. Very cozy m and I'd say that's a solid B tier. Like, I don't think I could eat a ton of these, but I respect the effort, and they're pretty good. Yeah, it's kind of like a nice, nice toasty 
cup of coffee cocoa. And finally, fudge brownie. Okay. Is this gonna be like actual brownie? That would be interesting. Not bad, actually. Um, it has a nice kind of soft center, comparable to like the the caramel ones, but these are much better than those. Yeah, just a nice, smooth, like very soft center. And the chocolate has a nice fudgy, kind of milky, creamy flavor to it. Yeah, I think the best thing you can do with M&Ms because they just have that candy shit all over it, is have a good texture and or interesting flavor. So this one works for me. It's got both. My God, that was a lot of chocolate. But I gotta say, overall, best ones. The crunchy mint ones are great. Peanut M&Ms are still classic. Uh, crispy ones are quite good too. You know, and I would recommend the, uh, the fudge brownie, dark chocolate mint. And uh, Coffee Nut's pretty good, too. I think those are definitely my favorites of the bunch. Otherwise, regular M&M's still are uh, fucking lame as shit. Uh, and also, don't try to mess with the peanut M&M formula. Just try regular ones. Alright. See you in the next one. Don't you wanna fuck this M&M?